I did once work at a gas station, but uh, uh, it only lasted two weeks because I, I, I wasn't very good at <laughs> Dax Da Silva, founder and executive chair at tech company Lightspeed and founder of Environmental Conservation Alliance, Age of Union. 18 years ago, what was happening in the market was small businesses were you know, using these black plastic terminals that, uh, that really just didn't give business owners any kind of visibility into what was happening. They were sort of black boxes that you know, would print out a report but didn't really give them any insight or any control over the business. And so we took something very complex and opaque and made it super simple. Lightspeed is a, is a company that builds software for those independent, retail and hospitality businesses that we all love in our neighborhoods. I was a real nerd as a kid, uh, started in software, um, you know, in my early teens. I grew up in Richmond, BC. It's a suburb outside of Vancouver. My parents were uh, refugees from Uganda. My dad brought home a computer. He was working in a manufacturing company. And that's where I became kind of obsessed with uh, user interface and started building software. I learned how to code, basically uh, taught myself how, how to, to, to program. But what I was really obsessed with was UI. Um, I loved uh, bitmaps and icons, and I learned how to code to just, just to bring it all to life. Did UBC. Uh, UBC was interesting because I started in computer science thinking that uh, that was the obvious step for somebody that had done so much software work. But then I realized something about um, how I approached, approached computers. I mean, computer science was very engineering focused, and I was really a designer. I was really somebody that was building UI design and, and, uh, and experiences. I took a year off and I went back for um, some of the other passions in my family, which is, which is art. So I took art history and I did religious studies since we're, we have very spiritual people in, our, in my family. I moved to Montreal in my early 20s. It was a big influence how Lightspeed came to be as a, as a, as a company. You know, the first four people at the company were all part of the LGBTQ community, including myself. We started the, uh, the company in the village. All of the, um, the openness and the freedom associated with the city, uh, you know, was built into all of the projects that, that, that came out of, out of building here. The core um, belief of the, of the company has always been to give those local businesses the technology to p compete with the big box and the big chains and the multinationals. And to see Lightspeed running some of these really important cornerstone businesses in these communities, is, it gives us a lot of pride. I think the Lightspeed story is so unique to Montreal. For example, the fact that we were able to buy real estate as we were building the company, you know, an LGBTQ and minority arts nonprofit art gallery, which is now the Age of Union building, which is an environmental art space. These are special places that I think have inspired the company's identity. You know, I think that we wouldn't have had the kind of talent if, unless we were able to start with such diversity and then grow so proudly with, with such diversity. When we acquired companies from all, all around the world and learn from some of the great, the great things that, that everybody brings to the table, like the directness of the Dutch, can educate you know, Canadians about how timid and sometimes how polite we are. It's like, get to the point faster, you know? So my passion project, Age of Union, we're gonna find 10 projects, really grassroots projects that prove to people that individuals from all kinds of backgrounds can actually make the real difference for the environment and tell their stories and actually give them budgets so that they can um, and, and actually infuse a bit of our startup DNA into their startup DNA and, and, and help them be, be better in ways we can and also learn from them to see what it takes on the ground um, to save a place or to save a species, to see uh, you know, wild salmon in an area that we restored um, and see the bears come for it on a camera trap. You know, it's just, that's something that, that, uh, that I don't know that like getting that big sales deal does, would do the same thing for me right now. What the heck?